So if we were to look into the result that we have, so far we have done 51,937 tests and the positive uh, is only 7.05%, it is 3,662 positive. So we will continue to uh, enhance our lab uh, in terms of the capacity. Our capacity today is 11,500. And as I mentioned earlier, we have 43 labs altogether and we intend to increase uh, two more labs in Sandakan as well as in Tawau. So in the process of procurement and hopefully we can address some of the issues that we have with regards to the lab. One is the reagent. So we do have a shortage of reagent uh, one week ago, but uh, we are trying to procure more reagents for our, our patients. And more importantly now, we try to optimise our lab whereby we are trying to do a pool in terms of uh, five cases, one go. Uh, that will increase our capacity and hopefully the turnaround time as well. In the meantime, we are also looking into other uh, test kit that is actually, we are talking about uh, antigen rapid test kit. So tomorrow we will receive, we will get uh, uh, a new test kit uh, from Korea. We hope that uh, the sensitivity and the specificity as well as the accuracy of the test kit will be more than 80%. So by doing so, I think we hope that we can increase uh, the tests that have been done in the Ministry of Health as well as other, other labs. And at the moment it's 11,500. We are aiming to have uh, 16,500. We are also looking for another new uh, technique of doing uh, the test kit in PCR. Uh, whereby we have uh, a machine, uh, the device uh, imported from China, from BGI. Uh, more importantly, it's uh, is automated so that uh, the process can be done faster. And uh, we can, perhaps with that machine, we can do 5,000 tests uh, per day, additional to, to what we are doing. <coughs> Uh, so far, if the uh, pending negative test is 39,877, so about 76.78 negative, and pending uh, 8,398.